Alors Icepeak c'est un, ouais, un personnage particulier, Icepeak on l'a rencontré dès le premier jour de tournage, hein. c'est lui qu'on voit dans le film euh, nous présenter son gilet pare-balles et ensuite une grosse liasse de billets, lui c'est ce que les vampires appellent un ronin, ça vient du, du, du japonais, le ronin au Japon c'était un samouraï qui n'avait plus de maître, hein, dont le maître était mort, hein, et donc c'était une sorte de samouraï errant. Donc les, les, les vampires ont repris ce terme à leur compte, hein, pour les vampires qui ne sont pas euh, liés à un clan, parce qu'on on voit beaucoup de clans dans le film, mais il y a aussi des individus qui existent de manière parallèle. Hein. Donc voilà, Ice Peak, c'est vraiment le Ronin, hein. c'est quelqu'un qui est complètement à part, hein, qui a une dimension un peu prophétique, qui a une, une vision de l'existence que je trouve particulièrement intéressante. On voit au début du bonus, il nous explique qu'il marche dans les rues de New York comme ça la nuit, et il nous dit euh, on est dans le mensonge, tout ça n'est qu'un grand mensonge. Hein. Et il a, il, a, il a comme ça cette, cette vision ouais, assez apocalyptique hein, et en même temps très pertinente de, de l'existence hein, et de sa situation. Euh, dans le monde actuel hein, et donc de ce que peut être un vampire selon lui parce qu'encore une fois c'est son avis personnel hein, à l'heure actuelle hein. Sometimes it takes a motherfucking bad guy to do the right thing in life You know, that's what it takes in life sometimes And when you fucking with Ice Pick, you fucking with a bad guy But he does the, he does the right things for the right reasons, for the right people You know, it's all or nothing with Ice Pick It's a little bit, it's not enough for me I need to eat big, I need to be big We're in the lie. <laughs> It's all around us. We're in the fucking lie. See, y'all giving me energy now. Y'all getting me ready right now. Like, mm, I'm ready right now. See, now I'm ready to go get the women now. I'm ready to go get the doll. I'm ready to go get everything right now. Because that's how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a choice. It's supposed to be something beautiful, something you get up to and you aspire to do something that's in you. You don't just go to the club and put the teeth on and put the nice shirt and be a vampire and look scary. Either you're a vampire by nature or you're not a vampire, no matter what. Because you can pay for a lot of things in life, but that doesn't make you that, you know? Like you can buy a Harley motorcycle. You can get the tattoos. That doesn't mean you're a biker. That means you have a Harley motorcycle and you have tattoos. It doesn't mean that you're, you're not a biker. You know, because if you're not living the lifestyle, you're not it. And then I've always been ice pick and ice pick is like that. This is just an extension. Maybe next time you see me, I might not have the teeth. Or maybe next time you see me, I might have bigger teeth or I might have smaller teeth. I might be in something different. But you know what, no matter what, you will see ice pick. You will see Ice Pick. That won't change. You'll be like, that's Ice Pick. Wow, Ice Pick is wearing a suit today, but that's Ice Pick. Look at him. Look what he's doing. Look, look at that. that you'll be like, that motherfucker, how is he doing that? And you'll see there'll be no change in my foundation. I'll still be me. You know, just because somebody will be clean cut, no teeth, that doesn't mean they're not a vampire. Because like I told you before, there's hunters in life, there's predators, there's scavengers, there's babies. You know, there's people that are gonna, it's a lot of different categories for people. But when you talk about it, like how are they gonna try to get at your money? How are they gonna try to get at your energy? How are they gonna try to get at your life? It's a lot of different things in, that you will see. It's a lot of different creatures, a lot of different animals that you're gonna see. You know, my whole life, I've been searching for a way to be free. And everybody says free, 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 but those people are trapped. Those people are still part of it. You know, you can't smell it, taste it, see it. You just are a part of it. You know, no matter what direction your life takes you in, you're always a part of it. The junkie on the corner, he's a part of it. You know, whoever has a lot of money, they're just, you know, in the pyramid, they're just in the top part of it. They're looking down, but there's always room for people. You know, it's when you get out the pyramid and that's when you travel in a circle that you travel, you know, you travel even. You no longer are part of it. And you know, it's a lot of ways that, you know, For us to get into it, it's gonna take a lot of researching. It's gonna take a lot of building, a lot of just, you know, because it's not for everybody. Not everybody wants to be saved. You know, a famous man said, I'm not here to save everybody. I'm gonna let the dead bury the dead. And that's what I do. I let the dead bury the dead. I let the blind lead the blind because the blind are not gonna follow me. The blind are gonna follow their own kind. You know, the blind are gonna follow the blind. The deaf are gonna follow the deaf. I'm here showing the path. 
and some people are on it, some people are not. Some people want to be on it, some people choose it, some people don't. But I'm not going to tell somebody to do it, they're going to choose it. And if they choose it, I've already chosen it. Ethnic, I'm mixed. I'm like Puerto Rican, black, and Paraguayan. So, you know, I grew up mixed. I didn't know like what I was for a lot of years because I was just on the block. I was just part of the block. I was just another number. You know, like I didn't have no distinction. I was just, everybody was poor and I was poor also. So we were all the same, we were all equal. You know, there was no black, no Spanish, we were just the same. And then when I got a little older, it started to change and things started to change, people started to change. And it's like in life, no matter where you are in life, you're part of the system. Even if you're a bum on the street, you're still counted for. No matter what you do in life, they still have you accounted for. Until you break that, you're always gonna be part of it. Like, Everybody wants to feel disenfranchised. Everybody wants to feel like they're not part of it. But no matter what, you're still accounted for. It's when you choose to buy your freedom is when you can get out the system. And until you buy your freedom, you're always gonna be a part of it no matter what direction you're in, no matter how you're living, no matter, you know, everybody, everybody that's in jail is part of the system. Everybody that's about to go to jail is part of the system. Everybody that gets out of jail is part of the system. Everybody in the offices is part of the system. Everybody that does anything, that includes and involves the system is part of it. So there's no thinking like I'm not part of it. You know, it's just a way to be free from it and it's a way to be in it and not know it. You know, ignorance is bliss. People like to be in it, people enjoy it. People like coming home and going to work, coming home, going to work for 40 years, 50 years. And what did they do with their lives? They woke up, went to work, went home. They got told when to eat. They got told what to work at. They got told how to work. They got told when to go home. They got told when to wake up. They never chose nothing. They got told their whole life. And they lived like that for 50 years. And that's it. And then they got old and whatever, whatever. That's not life. That's just caught in the pattern. That's just part of the system. That's not living. Because the prison that we're in, it can, we're not seeing it. It's all around us. It's everything. And it's just, it's, it's an inner cell. It's a, you know, it's a mind cell. It's a jail for thought. You know, when thought should always be free. You know, in this country, speech is free. It's only censored. <laughs> you know, it's free, but it's censored. It's like everything is free to a, level, to a level. You can do anything you want except all of these things. You know, okay, you could do that, but this is how you have to do it. So it's just part of being another machine. It's part of working it and helping them grow and keeping it the way it is. You know, but we're gonna break out of it. I tell you, you're gonna, you guys are gonna win. You know, a lot of people call me a lot of things in life, but I don't listen to a lot of people. I only, I, I listen to results. And when you guys start winning, it's nothing is gonna stop you. You know, whoever's gonna see this is gonna say, wow, he knew what the fuck he was talking about. <laughs> that dude right there, I don't know what he does, I don't know what he knows, but he knew what he was talking about. It's essential that you always learn from everything. You know, you learn from your environment. You know, I mean, I was always the aggressor. I was always the very aggressive in pursuit of what I wanted in life. And, you know, I'm here now and, you know, as you can see, like, I'm very different than you guys are, but what I, what, when I speak to you, I'll tell you the truth. I don't have no reason to lie in life. So I'm gonna come with the truth. I'm gonna bring the truth to the front because I could be stopped, but the truth is still gonna be there. There in life, everybody has to survive. And just like in nature, there's predators, there's animals that are a little bit more aggressive than the other ones, but they're all the same animal. Then there's animals that hunt, you know, like a predator hunts its prey. Like the eagle, it doesn't hunt flies. The eagle wants big game. It wants what it wants and it's going to get what it wants. Now you look at a vulture, a vulture is going to wait until an animal is sick or already dead or dying and or until an animal already ate and then it's going to come in and eat. And there's a lot of those around us. And then there's those that are just babies, they're babies here. So they walk around life like little babies, not knowing what really is happening. But if they see the opportunity to eat, they're going to eat. And you know, whether they're going to eat you or they're going to eat me, that's our decision. That's our choice in life. You know, like you allow the babies to get next to you. You allow the vultures to get next to you. The predators, they're going to get you. But the other ones you allow it. Like maybe you're cool with somebody, they're your friend and they're there just to eat, 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 eat. They're not going to go all out because it's not in their mind capacity to go all out. What is in their mind capacity is just to be a scavenger, just to scavenge. You know, the hunters are going to get what they want in life. They're going to get 
what it is that they want. And the thing is that the predators and the hunters, they're in life, they live the lie. They go after things because they know how to do it, but they don't know why they do it. But they get those things that they want, not really knowing why they want it. But since they could do it, they take advantage of that. You know, like people that are gonna watch this are gonna get a lot from it. Some people are not gonna like it because it goes against what they believe in. Some people are gonna be like, wow, that's interesting, but it's confusing. And some people are gonna be like, that's what it's about.